Hello YouTube, this is the second video, picked up a couple of new, new radios for after my next stay in hospital to restore. Okay, so what we have here is a, a Super Bengal, Pierce Simpson, this has the Mark 1 Cybernet chassis in it, the single board, similar to those that are in the Apollos, um, the GEs. Electrophone CB 550s and a host of other radios. Right, I also picked up a GE B model. Condition is about uh, 2 out of 10. Condition of the Super Bengal is about a 3 out of 10. Um, the bad things about the Super Bengal, we'll start there. Um, doesn't transmit. It's got up three, uh, three position uh, extra switch. The CBC PA switch has been disconnected, um, and the NB, the noise blanker switch, has been disconnected as well. And it has wires on it going to the O2A chip. All the switches need cleaning inside. Apart from the cosmetic state, um, could not do a proper on air RX test. The power supply inside, which I, I'm not going to show you, but the power supply inside's had a bit of a people playing around with. It's got a damaged main cap. Um, I suspect a broken power input lead, um, which I'll replace that anyway. Yep, all right, so that's the Super Bengal. The GE, it's up there with being one of the worst that I've ever had. And it's got the typical GE problems inside with the main cap. Uh, the tracks are um, corroded, so it will need track repairs. Jumpers under the board. Uh, it's also got O2A mods. So on the switches, uh, there are extras. There is also a slider. Um, the unit is way off frequency. Um, between upper and lower, two different. So the um, the alignment side of the radio has probably never been done, or someone's fiddled around with it. So it will need a cap change, VCO, um, O2A repairs, acid repairs, remove all of this, probably throw the top cover away. Um, I'm uh, Then uh, I'll need to do a soak on the plastics and also on the Super Bengal. But their project's coming up. So something to look forward to.